Hello, I'm Cassia Fahey, and welcome to my channel. Um, here's my Merlin today, helping me make my video. Um, I didn't go to church this morning. Um, there isn't going to be a um, devotional reading today, but I wanted to explain why. I'm not well today, um, and there's two reasons why I'm not well today. One, um, I have been damn near killing myself trying to get my floor cleaned, um, trying to get my floor mopped after I got the carpet out of my house, um, to the point where I have been causing myself heat stroke on a daily basis and, um, making myself incredibly, incredibly ill, um, because... The reason why I've been pushing myself too hard and the reason why it's causing heat stroke it the well let's go with the heat stroke explanation first um my wiring isn't working <laughs> it's um it might catch fire any day now it's so bad the whole house needs rewired um it's really dangerous so I can't afford to run more than one of my ACs at a time or else I risk the rest of my power going out with it. Um, so there's that problem. Um, and because of that problem is why I'm pushing myself so hard to get the floor clean because my stepdad is willing to fix the wiring but he won't do it until my house is immaculate. And I don't blame him, but I need it done now. And I'm literally killing myself trying to get the floor in the house clean so that he can do it. And like I said, I understand his situation, his side of it. But at the same time, um, I need it done now. So, I mean... Yeah, I'm making myself sick trying to get it done so that I can get the wiring done. But it's either that or do it slowly and wait for my, my house to burn down. <laughs> Possibly while I'm sleeping. So, <laughs> um, and I keep explaining this to my mom and trying to get her to understand, uh, get my stepdad to understand it. Um, but... You know, like, like I said, I get his situation. He doesn't want to come into a house that's dirty. And he won't come in here if it's dirty. And I get it. Um, but, so, you know, priorities. Not have a house at all because the wiring kills us all in our sleep. <laughs> not Possibly not have a life. Or damn near kill myself trying to get it clean so that I can get him in here as soon as possible to get it fixed. Um, so that's one reason why I'm sick. Because uh, I've been pushing myself too hard, giving my help, myself heat stroke. Hi, Kelly. Um, on a daily basis with one AC running that barely runs, um, trying to get the floor clean so I can get him in here. Um, but... Excuse me. Um, the other reason why I'm incredibly sick right now is because I have not been getting any sleep for the last two days because my neighbors, and I know this is illegal. I know it's, I know it's, um, no, against noise ordinance. Um, but if I report my neighbors for the shit that they do, um, they just get worse. They just retaliate more. If I stand up for myself, it just gets worse. So, I mean, I'm trying to write it out um, and hope that they just get bored and stop. Because uh, I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> um, so, at about 10 o'clock for the last two nights, uh, at about 10 o'clock, they turn on their stereo as loud as it can go and then turn on subwoofers so the entire my entire house is shaking <laughs> and um 
you know, one, you're not supposed to turn on music that loud after 10 o'clock, uh, 10 o'clock at all. <laughs> and it runs until four o'clock in the morning, but they're doing it on purpose to screw with me because they know that I don't like it. Um, and their excuse for doing this is that I supposedly keep them up at night, um, with my TV when, um, when I have to get up in the middle of the night for my blood sugar being low, which I have a multitude of reasons why I know that that's a lie. Um, and if my blood sugar is low and I have to get up because my blood sugar is low, why do you have to abuse me in response to my uh, to me trying to save my life by getting up and eating something cuz my blood sugar's low that's psycho <laughs> so um apparently my tv keeps them up at night when um when i get up in the middle of the night to eat something cuz my sugar's low well one when my tv worked it wasn't loud enough for me to be able to hear from the kitchen, which is in the same room as my living room. I mean, I can turn it. My house is a mess, so I apologize. That's my kitchen. So, obviously, if I can't hear it from my kitchen, they can't hear it from their houses. Obviously. So, <laughs> I can't even hear it when I go outside. I've had uh, Sam uh, in my yard when, and other people in my yard when I've had it on. And they've told me they couldn't hear it from outside. So, if I can't hear it from the kitchen, the people I have in my life can't hear it from outside my house. How would they hear it from their house? while they're sleeping and waking them up Two, my tv doesn't work anymore it has burned out so how am i waking people up with a tv that doesn't even turn on um three my devices are so quiet that i can barely hear them from my futon <laughs> So, and, and then the fourth reason why I know that they're lying about this just to look for an excuse to get away with screwing with me. The fourth reason is when I get up at night in the, in the middle of the night to uh, eat something to get my blood sugar up. The only thing I turn on is my light. The only reason they know that I'm awake is because I turned on my light. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so they're literally intentionally uh, kind of killing me because they're mad that I'm awake at like anywhere between three to four o'clock in the morning because my sugar dropped because my light is on. I'm sorry that my light disturbs you from my house. In the middle of the night that shouldn't in any way disturb you I mean I mean how is is anyone's neighbor so goddamn nosy that they're pissed off that you turn on your light in the middle of the night your light Really? That's pretty mentally unstable bullshit. But, so, I don't, I know I've explained this to you guys on a few occasions, but, um, there's a lot that, um, music like that does to me when it's so loud and, and the bass is so strong that it shakes my house. Um, one, if I'm trying to sleep and there's loud n noises like that, um, it'll actually cause me seizures in my sleep. And two, I get migraines from it, trying to sleep like that. And then 
that's just from the noise. I get seizures and I get migraines. Seizures. So they're pissed off that I wake up and turn on my light at night so I can raise my blood sugar and retaliating by giving me seizures. <laughs> so, um, and then at, at the, the, um, the vibration of the, of the bass that, that shakes my entire house, um, feels like I'm being tased nonstop for the entire several hours that they have it running for hours between 10 o'clock at night to 4 a.m. I feel like I'm being nonstop tased because of the bass, because it's shaking the house and they're, they're therefore shaking my body and I have fibromyalgia. So and they are doing this on purpose because they know that I have this condition and they know that that's how music affects me. And they're doing it to punish me for being awake at night when my sugar is low. Because for some reason, I'm not allowed to live my life without it pissing them off and them retaliating to do something to screw with me. And this is why I can't live in peace in my own home. People harass me non-stop I can't even go out into my own yard without them bothering me they won't stop coming into my yard they won't stop trying to break into my home the bullshit never ends so I'm incredibly ill right now because I didn't sleep all night and what little sleep I did have was seizure induced. So I'm not well today. I obviously did not wake up to either alarms today because I have not shut off my Sam alarm because it does help me wake up to take the dog out. Um, so I've just been leaving it on instead of just shutting it off when I'm not seeing Sam. Um, I think even if I do go back to bed and sleep in more, it's still a good idea for it to wake me up so I can take him out to go to the bathroom. Um, I slept through both. I'm sorry, Siren. I can't even get mad at him for what he did in the spare room right now because I'm so sick that I could not get up to take him out. Yes, I'm going to have to clean it, but I can't get mad at him for it when I'm so sick I can't get up. Um... It is now currently, let me check what time it is real quick. It, stop it. Phone, I mean, milk. Just wanted to look what time it is. It is currently 10 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, My alarm for church is at 8. My alarm for Sam is at 9. Um, I missed both of those. I slept and through both of them. Um, what are you doing, Siren? Stop it. Don't do that. Come here. Why don't you come here? Come here. Yeah, come here. It's okay. Come here. Siren. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Come here. He doesn't like to come over here because he's afraid of the cats. Come on. It's okay. Come here. Come here. Sarah, come here. Come here. Come on. Hi, boy. So this is Siren. You know, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Oh, Judge Siren. He's my sweet, handsome boy. Um, all my boys are sweet, handsome boys, but he's my sweet, handsome boy that's going to hold me up in the winter and help me around the house. Yeah. And he's getting better about it. He's learning pretty fast. But, so, I've been wanting to get him to come over here to show him to you guys. <laughs> but, like I said, he's afraid to come over here because he's afraid of the cats. 
But the only cat over here right now is Callie, and she, I mean, is spell, yeah, Callie. Um, and she doesn't really mess with him, so leave her alone, all right? Hey, leave her alone. I know, you like the kitties, I know. I know. I know, you like them. I'm trying to, uh, here, let's not step on that, buddy, because you're going to give yourself a shock. <laughs> okay, don't, don't sit on my tablet. <laughs> He's like, but I'm a big baby. I know you are, you're a big baby. You're a big baby, aren't you? Yeah, you're a big baby. When I get my furniture in, I'm going to actually let him on the furniture. Um, the only reason he's not allowed on the furniture right now is because I just don't have the room. <laughs> Obviously, I don't have the room because he'd have to lay on top of me. And that's not a thing that's going to happen. <laughs> um, so, there's that. <laughs> oh, now you're sitting on my cord. Let's not. There. There we go. Let's not sit on my cord. Oh. There you go. Yeah, you're a good boy. So, anyway, that's why I did not go to church today and why I'm not doing devotionals today because I'm so very ill that I don't know how I'm going to make it through the day today. I know I need to take care of the animals and myself. Um, there's not going to be any cleaning today. I'm probably going to take care of the animal's needs and then go back to bed. Because um, I am not well today. So, and seeing as how my nook was unplugged all night to stay in bed with me, uh, I'll probably take the tablet to bed and lay down with it. And then, like, when I get up to check on the animals um, and take him out, I'll probably switch them out again. But make sure everything's charged but anyway that's why I'm not doing well today I just wanted to explain um because a lot of people don't understand what I'm going through over here they don't get how how mentally unstable my neighbors behave um and or they I mean some of some people actually think I'm making it up. <laughs> and, I mean, the, between the house and my neighbors and that crazy chick that was supposed to be dog-sitting, I'm waiting for my life to get easy and my home to become a safe place again so that I can just be at peace I mean I just want to live my life in peace but it doesn't seem to be a thing I'm allowed to have so you know just write it out until until I can get my peace just write it out just work on the house as much as I can and take care of my animals take care of myself you know do me do me <laughs> and just keep going do my best to just keep going every day but it's really all you can do you know when your health isn't good and um there's crap going on that's frustrating and hard to deal with you know all you can do is just take it one day at a time and just work through it right out the storm so that's my advice for you guys today if uh if you guys are struggling with anything right now because i know some people are and i know that my best friend Lindsay, is dealing with a very painful situation right now i don't feel like i have the right to say what that situation is because it's not my situation um but i would like 
to request that you guys keep her in your prayers. Um, it's a grieving type situation. So keep her in her, in your prayers. Um, and, uh, you know, she's a very good friend and, yeah, she's, she's dealing with it pretty well compared to how, um, how I deal with things. So, um, she's probably holding it in a lot <laughs> to try to just get through. But, um, with her, girl, just go home and cry <laughs> and let it out. I love you. Just go home and cry and let it out. And then, yeah, I know at work you've got to just hold it in and hold it in and hold it in to get through the day. But go home and cry. I mean, I know you need it. Um, but, I mean, other people's situations, I don't know what your situations are or what they aren't. Um, but again, just take everything one day at a time. Everything gets easier a little bit at a time. You just got to just do you and just ride out the storm you know and remember you know you you're all loved you're all appreciated you're all needed you're all beautiful you're all perfect just the way you guys are and again like I always tell you guys don't ever let anybody tell you any different because God made you exactly the way he wants you to be so you know, you just do what you need to do. Just ride out the storm. If you need to incessantly clean to get through the stress, or if you need to just lay down and veg and just relax and, like, do nothing to get through the stress, whatever you need to do, to get through whatever you're dealing with, whether it be physical or emotional or whatever you're dealing with, um, just take it one day at a time. All right. Cause that's all you can really do. And that's really the best advice I have for you guys. I mean, that's what I do every day because we know my life is not perfect. Nobody's life is perfect. <laughs> I have way too much drama for someone who avoids leaving the house at all costs. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's the whole reason why I avoid leaving the house is so I have little to no drama. But, I mean, apparently the world just wants to pile drama on top of me. <laughs> But it is what it is, you know, you just gotta do your best to ignore it and work through it and just go about your life and do the best you can. It just is what it is. Um, and eventually, sometimes people that start drama, sometimes they get bored and sick of it and they're like, you know what, we're not really affecting this person's life beyond being trash people maybe we should just stop and leave this poor person alone and move on to something else to entertain ourselves because and as far as i know people don't do crap like that because they you know want something out of it the only reason they do stuff like that is to entertain themselves as far as I know. I mean, I can't really speculate fully because I don't understand people like that. I mean, I'm not perfectly mentally stable myself. I've got a lot of mental health issues on top of my physical health issues. But on the most, for the most part, I'm mentally stable. So I don't think the way that people like that do because my automatic reaction to stuff is to just ignore it the best that I can and walk away and 
barrier myself away from it. So I don't, I don't really fully understand, and I probably never will, why people do the things that they do. And, I mean, I've taken psychology, <laughs> so I should be able to understand it, but I don't, because I don't have... I don't have their mind, you know, I can't, I can't understand, I, I can't understand why they think the way that they think, because I don't think like that, so, and I apologize for the hair, like I said, I just rolled out of bed, I'm not well, um, but, you know, it just is what it is, you just do your best to get through it. You just do your best to get along and avoid people as much as possible. And it just, it is what it is. Um, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. And I hope you guys, uh, you know, can, well, I kind of hope you guys can't relate to my video. Because I don't want you guys to be dealing with drama or or stress or any of that stuff but I'm sure you guys have stress anyway everybody does um <laughs> it's not something you can get away from in this world it just stress is just there everywhere <laughs> you just do your best to work through it um but anyway I hope you guys like the video please like share and subscribe and have a beautiful day and don't overdo it I know I'm, I've been overdoing it, but please don't lead by my example. <laughs> don't make yourself sick <laughs> to get stuff done. <laughs> I probably will continue to until it's done so I can get my wiring fixed, but please don't do it to yourselves. <laughs> Obviously today I'm not doing that. Today I am going to make uh, rest and try to get myself better. But please don't do that to yourselves. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, have a beautiful day. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.